Hello everyone, Karen from Dark Moon Emporium here and today I've been using my laser to create a rubber stamp. Before I get into cutting my rubber, I am going to make a test grid. I see a lot of people on social media asking about settings for a particular material that they're interested in lasering. And the advice is always, look, do a, a test grid. Now, you can find test grid files on the internet and you can find some for free and some you have to pay for. but if you're using XCS, you can very easily create your own. So, for my test grid, and to help me know where to start, I've looked up the material settings on Xtools website and I found this. Now, for some reason, it's only shown that rubber stamp material is supported on the M1 machine, but the M1 has a 10 watt laser and that is the same as the F1. So I think it's close enough for a starting point. In XCS, I'm going to insert a square and I'm going to set the parameters to engrave. Next, I'm going to insert a circle and I'll put that on a new layer so that I can see it more easily. And I'm going to centre align both shapes. And then I'm going to use combine and subtract. I'm going to resize the shape and now comes the clever bit. Click on array and then choose material test array. I'm going to set the maximum power to 100%, the minimum power to 60, the maximum speed to 50, and the minimum to 30. I'll adjust the spacing to 2 millimeters for both the X columns and Y rows, and then click OK. I'm going to ungroup everything so that I can delete the labels and save some space on my rubber stamp. So this is laserable stamp rubber. And this piece came in a sample pack with my D1 laser and I've since bought more from eBay. Uh, as you can see, I've been using it quite a bit. So I'm going to use framing to make sure that I'm cutting in the right place. And then I'll run my test grid. So here's my result and I think that for my project I'm going to use 70% power, 40 speed and two or more passes so that I get a good deep engrave. Now I've got an idea of my cut settings I'm ready to make my stamp and I'm going to make one that simply says thanks. So I'm going to enter the text using the text tool and choose the font that I want. Next, I'm going to insert a rectangle and make it just a bit larger all round than my text. I'll move it to its own layer, set parameters to engrave, and use the arrange menu to send it to the back. Next, I select both layers and I use Combine and Subtract. For my stamp to print out the right way, I need it to be mirrored. So I'm going to use the Reflect menu and Reflect horizontally. 
All I need to do then is to resize the stamp and position it for framing and processing and send it to the F1. Here's my finished rubber stamp. It's got a nice deep edge and that makes me believe that uh, I'm going to get some good quality impressions out of it. But there are a few things that I need to do first before it's actually usable. Now, I'm pretty new to lasers. I got my first X-Tool D1 uh, as my Christmas present to myself last year. Um, so I've been la using a laser about nine, ten months, something like that. But the rubber stamping, I go back a long way and for the majority of its life this channel was actually a rubber stamping and paper crafting channel so here's my rubber stamp as i've just said and this is a little piece of um eva foam it's uh, three millimeters that's plenty uh, and the reason why i want it is because to get a good impression out of my rubber stamp i either need to have some give in the stamp or alternatively, some give in what I'm stamping. So I, I could get away with not doing this, um, but I would need to make sure that when I uh, was actually doing my stamping, uh, I was stamping into a fairly resilient surface. Service, surface. So there's this, there's this, and there's this. This is um, very sticky, double-sided tape. I'm going to just start with my uh, with my craft knife there because I just have an eight step and I don't want to wreck them. So onto here goes my red line tape, and now is the tricky bit: getting the backing off. I put my favourite pokey tool down somewhere and I cannot now remember where, but there you go. Look at that, I told you I was a professional. Rubber stamp on to sticky. Press firmly. And now with a nice sharp scissors, I'm just going to cut away all the bits I don't want. I could have actually done with making uh, making the outside of the stamp a little bit wider but I think we've got away with it. So there's the there's the thing that is going to be my rubber stamp my rubber stamp um, and now I want to be able to mount it to something. Oops. So I could either do this as um, as a permanent um, mounting onto something like a scrap of wood, um, but I'm going to make this a temporary stamp. I've got a nice clear acrylic block. This is actually way too big, but never mind. It was the only one I could find in a big hurry. And then that will stick on there and I can turn that over and stamp with it. One more thing before I do, I'm going to need to ink up my stamp. So this is archival ink. And you will notice that I am taking the pad to the stamp. And you will also notice that it is very well loved. Okay. It's wobbled a bit with my, with my glue stick. I've got a um, piece of paper here, stay low. And the first time, first few times, I'm not going to get a very good impression. Let's just check that I'm still in, in shot. And there we go, it's actually not bad. Finally, I'm going to put another coat of black archival ink onto my stamp and I am going to let it dry. Uh, and what that does, it sort of, um, what's the word I want? It sort of prepares the stamp to, um, to help it give a good impression every time. But 
you know what, for the first time, I'm pretty pleased with that. And here it is. I've used my new stamp on the front of this little card. And as you can see, it's given me a nice clear impression. And if I treat it properly, this stamp would last me for many, many years. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and if so I'd love it if you came back and visited me again sometime soon uh, but for now though thank you very much have a great day and I hope I'll see you again sometime soon bye bye